So about two months ago, I made an oath in the blood of my ancestors that when Assassin's Creed Valhalla news came out, I would keep you guys informed. Assassin's Creed news came out and went. And two weeks later, I still haven't kept you guys informed. So this is my apology video and also me trying to make up for lost time. Yes, this is my face. This is the first time of me showing it on the channel. Yes, I do have the beard like one of the Nords from Skyrim. What's up everybody? Flapjack here. And yes, this is the first time me showing my face on this channel. Uh, hopefully we're going to be doing this a lot more, so get used to it. Now, this, uh, I guess I'll call it a series, uh, essentially what I want to do is amidst all of the content that I'm considering bringing to the channel in terms of like montages, in terms of more edited content, more gameplay content, I also want to make uh, a discussion channel as well. I also want to make this, you know, a channel where we can talk about things because that's one of the things that I like to do uh, in my personal life is uh, have discussions, debates, uh, just kind of shoot the shit, or in this case, you know, shoot the syrup uh, with people. So that's what we're going to do, and uh, today we're going to be talking about Assassin's Creed Valhalla and also Ghost of Tsushima because I do think that the two games hopefully can be connected. So two weeks ago, two things simultaneously happened, not in the same day, but pretty much in the same time period. So the first one is that Ghost of Sekiro. What did you say? So two things happened uh, two weeks ago, pretty much simultaneously, not all in the same day, uh, but, you know, in the same time period. So the first one is that Ghost of Tsushima came out, a game where you are a samurai that learns essentially ninja tactics and assassination techniques. Um, and, you know, you go on a quest to save the island from Mongol invasion. Now, that's all I'm going to do to get into the plot of the game. I don't want to spoil it for anyone. I think that it's still relatively new enough to where people don't want me blabbing uh, on what happens in the story, right? So amidst this game coming out and it getting really good reviews pretty much by everyone that I've seen play it, uh, we also got Ubisoft forward and with that Assassin's Creed Valhalla gameplay. Now gameplay is what we've all been waiting for for this game pretty much since it was even rumored that the next Assassin's Creed was going to be centered around Vikings. Uh, and also, I think that especially because of the fact that Assassin's Creed Odyssey was received not poorly, I'd say, but just not as well received by the community as previous installments of the Assassin's Creed franchise. So I would say that this game, there's a lot more riding on Valhalla than other games. Just because of the fact that its predecessor, Assassin's Creed Odyssey, did not perform as well to the hopes and expectations of uh, the, the fans who, who wanted to play it. So what do these two events have in common? Well, in reality, not much. But if you peel back the layers, you find more and more similarities between these two events. And the biggest reason for this is because if you're going to compare, if you're going to ask anyone to compare Ghost of Tsushima to any other game, they're immediately going to say Assassin's Creed. If you're going to ask anyone uh, about Ghost of Tsushima, about should I play this game, uh, what's it like, uh, I know for me, and I, I know for a lot of other people out there, they're immediately going to say, it's basically Assassin's Creed in Japan. Now. Is the game engine different? Yes. Is a lot of the mechanics different? Yes. But at the same time, Assassin's Creed is the closest thing that you can compare Ghost of Tsushima to. It's pretty much like comparing Outer Worlds, the game, to Fallout. And, you know, comparisons are just going to be made even though the games are, are wildly different in a lot of aspects. So why is this worth mentioning? The fact that Ghost of Tsushima is very similar to a lot of what Assassin's Creed has to offer. Well, for me, it's because of the fact that Assassin's Creed Valhalla, to me, is a very pivotal game in the Assassin's Creed franchise. And the reason that it's a pivotal game is because of the fact that Assassin's Creed Odyssey, in terms of viewership, in terms of fandom, had a relatively poor showing 
um, amidst a lot of the Assassin's Creed community. Now, there's going to be a lot of people who might watch this who think that I'm razzing on Assassin's Creed Odyssey too much. There might be a lot of people who have watched the podcast that I did with a couple of my friends and might just say that, you know, we love to browbeat Assassin's Creed Odyssey over and over and over again. And yes, I am completely willing to admit that that's partially the case. But at the same time, I think that Assassin's Creed Odyssey deserves all the browbeating we're giving it. Let's take a look at this game. There's no stealth elements beyond throwing around a magic spear that can turn people invisible that you kill, turn yourself invisible. There's no realistic stealth elements. Well, and, and I, I use that term loosely, of course, because it's a video game, but there's no realistic stealth elements. Uh, it's just you running around Greece, Spartan kicking people off of cliffs, and uh, there's, there's so much mythology and supernatural in a game that's supposed to be based around uh you know more of realism you know there is these artifacts which is fine and they they're interwoven in the story but everything about your character is supposed to be grounded in reality at least a little bit you know besides the fact that you can run uh you know forever you can run from one side of the map to the other and you can climb you know just inscalable un unscalable inscalable unscalable structures we'll go with that word real quick long story short for myself and for other people who would call ourselves fans of the classical Assassin's Creed mechanics. Assassin's Creed Odyssey didn't check a lot of the boxes that we look for in an Assassin's Creed game. And the reason that I bring this up in comparison with Ghost of Tsushima is that Ghost of Tsushima, at least for me, I haven't really talked to any of my friends who have played the game yet, but for me, Ghost of Tsushima checks off a ton of the boxes that not only are checked off when I'm playing a, an Assassin's Creed that I like, but checks off a lot of the boxes that Assassin's Creed Odyssey did not check off. So going into Assassin's Creed Valhalla, I am confronted with the fact that a game published not by Ubisoft, not by any of the developers that have, to my knowledge, ever worked on an Assassin's Creed, definitely not in the current Assassin's Creed developing teams, made a better Assassin's Creed experience, at least to me, than the previous installment of Assassin's Creed was. So when I'm confronted with this, when I am looking at Assassin's Creed Valhalla, all I can think is, I literally hope that Assassin's Creed Valhalla is more like Ghost of Tsushima, an independent game, than like the previous installment of the Assassin's Creed franchise. And that worries me a lot. And being 100% honest, looking at the gameplay trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla, which came around the exact same time that Ghost of Tsushima dropped, didn't make me feel any better in terms of what I'm worried about going into Assassin's Creed Valhalla. So all things aside, the Assassin's Creed Valhalla trailer was great. There is going to be a lot of content. Uh, the time period that they picked is a very interesting one. Uh, there's going to be opportunities to, I think, showcase both sides as uh, good guys. You know, one fighting to protect their homeland. Another one fighting to, uh, to make a new life for themselves. I think that there's uh, a good opportunity uh, for the time period and with the Viking raids the uh the fact that literally what i asked for in the podcast the fact that you can throw axes at enemies and you know cleave their faces off by yeeting you know all sorts of weapons at them is amazing to me literally the thing that i was like you know what everyone i, I literally said to everyone in the podcast okay everyone say one off the wall thing that you would just want in the game like something it doesn't have to really make sense just some off the wall thing and mine literally was i want to be able to pick up an axe and yeet it at someone and that was in the gameplay trailer so i'm really excited about this but the reason that i left watching the gameplay trailer worried is because the the feelings that i got the boxes that weren't checked off of when i finished assassin's creed odyssey and i was uh, you know, mulling over my playthrough. The boxes that I did not check off in terms of making me feel like the game was a good Assassin's Creed game 
nothing in the gameplay trailer for Assassin's Creed Valhalla made me confident that those boxes will be checked in this next installment of Assassin's Creed. For example, stealth was talked about in the gameplay trailer, right? But it was only talked about for literally 45 seconds. They talked about the fact that they're bringing blend groups back. It's like, wow, this mechanic that's been in every single Assassin's Creed since the second one and wasn't in Odyssey. Was it in Origins? I, I don't think it was in Origins either, but it wasn't in the last two. We're bringing it back. Am I playing Madden? Am I playing 2K? Am I playing these sports games that take away game modes? And then 13 years later, they're like, look at this. We brought this new game mode back. I, I, I To my knowledge, I thought I was playing Assassin's Creed Odyssey. So why would I get excited about that? What? Why would I feel better in terms of what direction they're taking Assassin's Creed just by the fact that they're bringing in a mechanic that they already have put in pretty much every single Assassin's Creed? That's not going to make me feel better. And not to browbeat Odyssey or browbeat a game that hasn't come out too much, but I am just very worried that we are getting farther and farther away from a single player Assassin's Creed experience where it's about stealth, where it's about an epic story, and we're getting more and more closer to essentially just Skyrim with the Assassin's Creed logo and the hidden blade. And an a massive RPG that takes hundreds of hours to complete fully and doesn't feel like an authentic Assassin's Creed experience. And the reason I bring this up in, in tandem with Ghost of Tsushima is Ghost of Tsushima felt like, to me, feels like to me, because I'm not done with it, an, an authentic Assassin's Creed experience. It's not 100 hours. It doesn't take 100 hours to complete. I know many people who have already completed the game, who completed the game in a week or two a lot of streamers that you know finished it in four five six uh let's play sessions uh the stealth in the game the stealth skills are authentic there's no magical powers or anything like that there's just tools and abilities that you can unlock um the combat in the game is is satisfying the enemies aren't damage sponges the way that they are or, or were in assassin's creed odyssey it doesn't take 13 hits to kill someone uh, it just, the game feels more like an authentic Assassin's Creed experience to me than Odyssey did. And so that part of that worries me, right? But at the same time, I feel hopeful that Assassin's Creed Valhalla, the developers will look at Ghost of Tsushima as a, a as a wake up call. They, they will say, okay, this is the type of experience that people want in assassin's creed i'm hoping and praying to all that is holy that uh that they, that this is the message that they'll take out if we could all just like sit around in a circle hold hands and pray to the isu that the developers for assassin's creed valhalla will look at the success of ghost of tsushima as a game will look at the things that everyone loves about that game and go hey wait a minute these things that people are talking about, the reasons that they love Ghost of Tsushima is the very same reasons that these people fell in love with our franchise, you know, 10, 12 years ago. And so I'm, I'm just hoping and praying that they will stop this direction of Skyrim with the Assassin's Creed hood that we seem to be on a, on a runaway train towards and we can get back to authentic, you know, single player assassin's creed experiences that everyone enjoys and loves that's my my not my prayer for this i hope that's your guys's prayer but maybe maybe i'm reading too much into one gameplay trailer and uh just taking a lot of bad memories out of assassin's creed odyssey but that's my little rant done guys uh i'm not going to sit here and go over the gameplay trailer piece by piece uh because i think that you know, it's a little late for that. I should have done that a lot earlier. I apologize. Uh, but I'm going to try to be on top of it more uh, going forward. Hey, I've also been streaming on Facebook a lot. Uh, a lot of Mortal Kombat. Uh, a decent amount of Ghost of Tsushima. Um, some Star Wars Battlefront, actually, if you're interested in seeing me stream that. A lot of Call of Duty with a bunch of my friends. A lot of Search and Destroy. So if you guys are down for that. Link in the description. It's always a good time. We go live pretty much 8 p.m. Eastern time, 9 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, almost every day on weekends, it might be a little bit different in terms of time. Uh, I'm also going to leave my friend Jake, I'm Sopranos, channel down 
and the link below. Go subscribe to him. He makes way better content than I do. Uh, so, and as, as always, you know, stay syrupy, stay frosty. If you guys haven't already, click the subscribe button, join the Breakfast Club. And as always, let me know down in the comment section what you guys think about the gameplay trailer. Uh, let me go, know what you guys think about Ghost of Tsushima. I haven't finished it yet. Please no spoilers for me and for anyone else who's in the comment section. And uh, yeah, that's me done. I'm out of here. Peace.